guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new today i just thought it would be fun to show you my new ink journal real quick and then also show you what pens i'm gonna have inked up for july and the inks that i'm using and so yeah, let's start with this journal. I have been using this Kenbore Weekly Planner just because it's undated and I just thought I'm not using it in any other parts of my system. I just got these to kind of test out the pre-planner situation and I ended up sitting on this one. And so I just have this section for my Ferris wheel press inks. I am a part of their Jubilee affiliate program. So every time I get new inks from them, I just document it here under the month. I have nothing in this section. And then I have just all of my inks separated out by the color family. And if an ink fits in multiple color families, that's fine too, like the sepia color. I have an orange and in yellow. So if I'm looking for a specific color, I can just flip to the color family page and have that as a reference. I started using this ink journal at the beginning of June. And so these are all of the inks that I had inked up for June. This is what, three, five, 10 pens that I had inked up. And so I didn't wanna continue inking up more and more and then not using them. And so I'm making some rules for myself going forward. And I am doing three newly inked pens every month. Why? Because I feel like just from one month of testing this out, I feel like I can kind of get through between my everyday bullet journal, my reflections journal, just like writing notes and things that seems to be a good number. I don't want to have a ton of pens inked up and then have them get clogged or just kind of gross from not being used. And, and it's just fun to sort of rotate out pens and inks and I can kind of figure out what I like and what I don't like. I'm still pretty new in the fountain pen thing and so I'm still trying to figure out what I like, what I don't like. And so I kind of want to rotate through things to see what gets me excited. So aside from those three newly inks, I am migrating some pens just if they are not used completely or something like that, I will get more into what I'm migrating and why I'm migrating in just a sec. Yeah, basically I'm just figuring this out as I go. Definitely leave any advice or ideas down in the comments to help me out. Let me know what you're doing. Group effort here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get set up for a new currently inked spread. And I'm just using my Tombow Furunosuke lettering pen for the header here. Okay, let's talk about the pens and inks that I am migrating this month and why. The first one is this Twisby Eco pen. And this one is in a broad nib and a broad nib just means that it puts down a thicker line and that more ink is coming out with that nib. And so inside of this, I have a Ferris wheel press glistening glass ink. And so you can see I have to write, for me personally, I have to write a little bit larger with a broad nib to be legible, but I am migrating this one 
because Twisbees just feel so much ink in here. And so it will definitely take more than a month to use all of this, especially with the broad nib. And I usually have been using this for headers and like my travel journals or life journal, just for headers or anytime I wanna write larger. So that's why this one is being migrated and it's taken a little longer to get through. The next one is this Pilot Kakuno. And this is in a fine nib. I'll show you that. And I really like this pen. It's a super affordable beginner pen, but it is super reliable. And in here, I just have the Pilot Black cartridge. I just feel like you just have to have a black pen. Like I may need a black pen. I usually just put this one as well in my little to-go journal and take with me just because it's a little thinner. I don't feel super precious about it since you know it's not as fancy as some of the other pens, but it writes really well and it's surprisingly a go-to, so. So yeah, I thought it was perfect for just a black ink. And then the final pin that I'm migrating over is this Faber-Castell Grip Fountain Pen. And I got this in Hamburg, I want to say at the Faber-Castell boutique store. And this one actually has a cartridge in it as well. It was suggested by the shop owner there, but it's a very pretty like violet blue cartridge. So I'm just gonna... And I just didn't use this as much last month either because it just didn't match my bullet journal theme which was like a cookie brown tan blue situation. And so this just didn't get as much play. I do believe this is a fine nib as well. Violet blue cart. And I totally lied to you guys. I am migrating this one as well for the same reason as this Faber-Castell Grip fountain pen, but this one is the Lamy Studio, but this one's so pretty. And it is inked with a Ferris wheel press Peter Moss ink. And I just think it is the like perfect pen ink combo. They match so well. But again, my bullet journal for last month, I'll show you guys, was like this brown with a hint of blue. And so this green just did not get used. But it is so pretty. And this one is a medium nib. So it's gonna be between this thick line weight here and this like fine. Okay, let's move on to our newly inked pens. And there are three of them. We'll start off with another Lamy. And this is a Lamy Safari, another really great beginner pen. And it's super, it's like widely available. So you can pretty much find it anywhere that office supplies are found, fountain pens, of course. But I have this inked up with a darker green called L. Lawrence. And I'm not sure, I'll put it on the screen, the brand for this, but I just have a little small sample of this ink from Goulet Pens. And I love Goulet Pens. I love listening to their pen cast. And yeah, I just thought this went really well with my July bullet journal theme. And I'll show you <laughs> that as well. So you know the colors that were working with here. This is my cover page for July. So I'm kind of, I'm working with a wider range of colors here. So that's going to be really fun. But yeah, this first one is an L. Lawrence and this is a Lamy Safari in a fine. And I like that this does have like a green 
look obviously but it could pass as a black too so this is a good workhorse everyday kind of pen and ink combination Okay, the next one is the Esterbrook Botanical Gardens pen, and I actually won this one in a giveaway recently. Like, oh, I got it on my birthday, so that was super cool. But this pen is gorgeous and totally matches the vibe of my bullet journal theme this month. So, had to ink it up, and I decided to ink it up with a Ferris Wheel Press new release that's coming out on July 7th. And this one's called Song of Scarlet. And I really love this pen too, because like I can ink it up with so many different colors. Cause there's like this dark red in here, there's gold, there's green, there's blue. There's just a lot of different colors that would match with this pen. And you don't have to match your ink with your pen, but it just helps my memory, I guess. It just, it makes me happy. But this Song of Scarlet ink from Ferris Wheel Press is gorgeous. It is like a dark red, but it sheens like a green and gold color. So if you like tilt a little bit to the side or when you're turning your page, it looks a little more green. Ugh, it's so pretty. And I do have a code for Ferris Wheel Press. If you see anything that you love, wanna check out their pens. I have a few of their pens as well. And the code for that, if you want to support the channel and save yourself 10%, is ROYAL. And this is a, what is this? This is a medium. It writes, I thought it was a fine for a second, but it is a medium. I did not do a little line. I don't know what little writing samples I want to do quite yet, so I just do whatever. The last pen is a returner pen from last month, but I've inked it up with something different. This is the Navalor, I cannot remember, Dragonite something skull, I'll put it on the screen, but I really enjoyed writing with this pen, mostly in my reflections journal last month, and it was inked with like this turquoise of the Mesa's color, this very bright blue color. And I really liked it, but I got for my birthday this gorgeous Waringal, I think that's how you say that brand name, uh, the Phantom of the Opera ink. And it's a blue, like a darker blue ink with a red sheen. And I just thought it was perfect for this pen because it has, you know, the blues in there, but with the little bits of red. Yeah, I just thought it was a perfect match here. I guess it could be posted. It's just a little heavy. It's postable, but it's a little heavy. It's a little more comfortable without the cap. Okay, but look, this is such a pretty, I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera. I doubt well, <laughs> but it's really pretty. It's like a blue and the edges sometimes have like a little bit of red in it. It's and I actually got this pen secondhand on like a Facebook buy, sell, trade group. And I don't remember if it's a medium or a fine. It looks, it doesn't say on the nib. Usually it says on the nib and that helps me out. But I'm pretty sure it's a medium according to my little Notion database that I have going on over here. Yeah, I guess it could be a fine. But yeah, as you can see, my current taste of inks, not only just to match my July bullet journal, but I think in general is I do like having color, but I also like it to be a little dark so that it's nice and legible and not offensive, I guess, to my to myself because I don't know who else really looks at my bullet journal like that. But yeah, here are my currently inked stack, I guess. Let me know what you guys wanna see when it comes to fountain pens and inks. If you have any questions, any advice, be sure to like and subscribe and support long content if you love it and I will catch you guys in the next one.